real estate, real estate. sales, sales. Marketing. marketing, full circle conversations, full circle conversations. with Andres Olaya. Guys, welcome to a new episode, Full Circle Conversations. Today, we have a very special guest because he's going to be the future president. This man right here, Jeff J. Cunningham. Thank you, you got it right, for man. coming Good. on. Hey, <laughs> great, great, to, uh, great to be on, man. Thank you. I appreciate this. Impressed by all this. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for having us over here. So. Where are we at right now? Why are we here right now? Why are we in this beautiful country, in this wonderful city of Medellin, Colombia? Um, so literally, I think a lot of times some people, we all have places we want to be. Everybody wants to travel more, but nobody really does it. And, uh, you know, I kind of put out a reality board, uh, which is basically a vision board, but it's two images of things in, in the side that you ever came, three things that you want this year, one, uh, one in the focus, so focus in three to five years. And one of them was a plane. And I was like, I want to travel more. I want to live that laptop lifestyle that I watch other people do. And it was so hard until I believed in. Thankfully to one of our mutual friends, Arturo Ganvini, uh, Arturo Confidential, give a shout out. He's been a big pit of, uh, a part of my success of actually just, hey man, go do it. Go and do that, it. That, and that's why, we're, that's why we're here. Actually, when I was in Miami, and Miami's really where it took off. When I went to Miami, I know he said, hey, everybody's right. taking off here. Took off when I got into Miami. Uh, it's, it's home definitely of me, 100%. Um, but Arturo came back from a, a month here and goes, hey man, we messed up, man. We gotta go to Medellin, Colombia. So I obviously trusted him. Um, he was my ring ring guy in, in one of the fights I had, ringside guy. So, you know, so then the, here we are. And it's been a never, never ending. There's actually a, a company out here um, that we went out, took them out to a steak dinner at one of these nice restaurants and um, gonna do an uh, AI consulting bid on him, uh, on his company to make him, you know, save labor costs because AI is becoming a huge part of it. And if people aren't paying attention to AI right now, you're gonna be left behind. So you have to pay attention to it. I owned an AI software uh, back in the day, so I have a, a, a loose knowledge of it, but it's moving so fast that it's just trying to keep up. Yeah, I mean, AI is everywhere right now. Real estate, restaurants, yeah. I'm pretty sure accounting. I mean, any industry you can really think of, it's there, right? Technology, obviously. What could people do right now? Some tactical steps, give some tactical things, right? That they can go and they can implement. Let's say for me, actually, right? Yeah. I'm in real estate. What would you recommend to me, right? Some real estate investor. Yeah, so anybody right now, don't be scared of it. Like a lot of times so many things happen that we get scared of in life. There's new inventions, you know, just study history. When they had, you know, the, the tractors were coming, every, all the field workers were out of work. We can't work, right? You don't be scared. You move into any time, fierce directions. We're in a transition stage, uh, clearly right now. Um, I think, you know, you do have to proceed with caution, just like Elon and everybody's saying. Uh, there's a lot of stuff why I'm making a case for it because I want to be part of regulating stuff before it gets out of control. But the biggest thing for the good people like me and you, uh, because there's good and there's bad people in this world, is to use it as much as it's as simple as ChatGPT uh, and OpenAI and all the, all the AI tools that it's a gold rush to make money in right now, 100%. Uh, and out of all of them, this this is one that won't go away. And the only two things that will, if you're looking to an AI software, right? Cause I had an AI software, right. you gotta be the best known and have the best customer service. Out of all these multiple ones, we, we field and test them all the time for companies and in our inner circle, my mastermind. Um, you wanna know what it is. And what you can do right now is anybody here listening up, I was on a call, a consulting call with a girl the other day. She's like, I don't know how to use ChatGPT. You can become an expert prompt writer. You know what that is? Yeah, like scripts and things right, like yeah, that. Yeah. So, and the way you do it is you you give a label to it. So you say, as a as the CEO of Disney, that's probably a bad bad one to put in right now. <laughs> well, how would you run an amusement park? How would you think it? And it'll the what the AI will do. It'll, it'll take that as a marketing consultant. How would you do it? I bought JeffGPT.com. We're gonna do an AI training on my birthday, May twenty third, because um, we're doing certain stuff to load in our knowledge on it. Um, but there's multiple ways you can actually use it with being an expert. But giving a title as a teacher. Uh, of Harvard University, how would you write this paper? So just by doing that alone, by anybody using that right now, you'd be good and use it as much as you can. Um, and there's big questions about you know the IP, who owns it once you do it and make an ebook out of it. Uh, that's why we bring in people like the IP mentor, uh, Peter Neves, a great guy who crushed it on the AI uh, mastermind with Billy Jean the other day that I was uh, lucky to be a part of. So um, 
Yeah, that's, that's what you want to do. You want to become an expert prompt writer and then you want to have, and that's only going to last for two years between uh, auto GPT that's going to come over and as it's learning itself. And, um, but a QA, quality assurance, there's always going to be someone checking the AI. So really absorbing those roles, especially if you're in a place like customer service or anything, you're going to be out of a job. Uh, that's, that's kind of what we can do right now is we can actually show companies that have people on computers, how they're doing it with our software Progretta that we just loaded into. Um, we can actually supplement and, and have a 24 seven, uh, someone who's handling it better is not going to fall asleep at the computer, you know? So having, uh, ha becoming an expert in the field by using it, by asking prompts and not just like you did when you're a little kid with your, your, uh, your mom and dad, yeah. keep asking it questions, keep right, doing right, that right. and get better results, you know? Yeah. I mean, chat GBT is like the hot thing right now, yeah. right? Going over everything you just said, do they have customer service? Do they like, cause I feel like it's like, a login because I we've used it right we've used it a bit we played around with right. it a little bit here yeah. in the business but do they have customer service or is it all like so did you watch the interview with Lex Friedman and Sam Altman no I didn't catch that one the, no. it's a great interview watch that one and then you could that'll have your answer okay okay Sam Altman who's one of the founders of ChatGPT well Elon was in it he's out of it now he's doing AI um uh, X he's going to do his own AI thing because he's very worried about what's going on right me included uh so is Lex and Lex was challenging Sam Altman about this it is literally learning itself and getting under control and there's no regulation on it right now so they don't even even know you know right. what i mean it's kind of like you created a it's almost like we with ai we created a frankenstein literally it's going it's going so fast and there's no wheels to stop it so jump on it and the people who can catch on it quick enough or loud enough like myself will have a chance to be maybe a part of it i want me lex friedman elon musk and a few other people you know uh, to actually be in part of regulating because i do believe although all human beings are um all flawed in all, all aspects and neither are perfect i believe they have the best intentions uh, marcus brownlee will put him in there too um, so those guys, we, we, if we regulated AI and we actually put out a form of it, cause that's how the, this world was made up by people no smarter than us. Right. Yeah. So it's going to happen. So why don't I be the front tire? Why the people are like, well, that's crazy. You're going to uh, regulate. You're going to be one of the ones who does that. And I'm like, someone's got to do it. Someone's you know? got to do it. So that's, that's, that's what really I was thinking why. right now. When you were, I like how you were including your names and all these big people, right? Elon Musk, Lex Friedman. Are you going to be a billionaire? I mean, that's what I heard. Like when I heard you in yeah. there, because those guys, you know, they're, they're, yeah, they're yeah. Uh, so listen, here's the thing. You don't die with all the money you have, yeah. in it, right? One thing I like about Elon Musk, Elon Musk is a total G. The guy literally lives nowhere, has more money, took 44 billion, invested into Twitter. There was a guy I was at one of the um, events on, I go to a lot of entrepreneur events and this guy said, you can't buy Twitter right? Because we was when Elon Musk was there. And I said, no, don't tell me I can't do that. Because literally Elon Musk, if you look how he bought it, he had shares and sold shares to do it. It's all people. All the all you need is a good idea and people that are around it. You know, this is a real estate right. investor, right? To fund the deal. And um, yeah, hundred percent. I, I think, you know, yeah, a hundred percent. I don't think I want to, I, I will be the richest man in the world. And that comes from uh, a girl that I tell a story that there's a girl that uh, a guy can buy her anything and I can't buy her what she wants, you know? I tell myself a story that uh, my dad, who I still send money back home to, it's not enough. I tell myself a story that there's people that I'd like to help for free and as a consulting business, I can't get on the phone call to sell my business, to build what I want to build without paying. And some people I just, a Turo knows, I just want to help people. I was helping some guy out right now at, in, at before we're over Fast here, you know? Just yeah. like, no man, this is what you do, you yeah. know? But sometimes when people pay, they pay attention and I've, right. I've learned to learn that, you know? Pay to pay attention. I mean, that's true. Yeah. That's why I like to pay for things too, because yeah. now I'm like, okay, I pay 25K here for this mentorship, um, 50K for this mastermind, yeah. for this group. It just makes you pay attention. So where, how did you get started, man? Like, what was your first venture as an entrepreneur, right? Because you said you moved to Miami and that's when really things took off, but where'd you start? Where'd yeah, you things, start? Things actually, well, when I really started was a lemonade stand. Eight years old, brother and sister advertising, changing the thing. I didn't even know what money meant. And right. I'm just like, yo, we need to get more cars in here. We sold out the lemonade. I went and got ice cream. And I remember making like 88 bucks in a day. And for, you know, for an eight year old, you're rich, right? Yeah, that's yeah, everything, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And I know I could go buy everything. So that's really when it started. Um, but I, I think I think a lot of people, a lot of entrepreneurs get made fun of, right? You're a little bit different. There's a great uh, shirt or quote I saw once, uh, why blend in? We were born to stand out. I went through years trying to blend in. I got into HTML coding software and I was a huge geek back in the day. Couldn't get girls, just like any other story, you know? Um, <laughs> Andrew Tate talks about this and all his thing. Andrew Tate, the one thing he says, he he the reason why he's valued so many boys is he tells the whole story, which they all been through, you know? Get picked on, you build up yourself, right? And then, and then you, you find yourself at that point. And same exact story, 
story. Uh, went from coding HTML uh, to competing with one of the website softwares and all that. And and really, I still love that stuff. Like I, I feel natural behind a computer. Where'd you grow up? What was this? This was in. Uh, yeah, I don't want to say it's a communist state. Uh, okay. Connecticut. Um, okay. Okay. I, I I like to say I'm from. How long I say this before you can say you're from somewhere? I I just Miami felt like home. Connecticut I always felt out of place there. Right, I always right. had this friendly energy. Um, I, I you know and there there's uh, no offense. I know a few people there. A lot of shout out to Sylvia Leslie and uh, who else? Uh, Paloma. I'm going to the wedding with Paloma. She made the wedding date thing. So. Um, I always make a big deal. People get mad. My aunt gets mad because I make a big deal who I'm going to take at the wedding. But it's, it's who's going to be my first lady? Like the right. first lady that's going to marry Jeff J. Cunningham. Right. I'll tell you what, everything I'm working towards, she'll be the most luckiest lady. And I'll tell you right now, we're getting a prenup. There you go. <laughs> so they can watch I, that. Let's get let's get into there. How how important is a prenup, man? I think I so. Think, yeah. I, listen, all I know is I'm with. I consult a lot of uh, you know seven figure, eight figure entrepreneurs, right? Building their personal brand all the time. And uh, some of these guys that I hear, uh, that's just advice they give me all the time. Although yeah. uh, I love Grant Cardone, love Elena Cardone. Elena taught Grant out of not getting one, right? Well, she's smart, you know. Yeah, well, I, I guess she's smart. Yeah. So I, but that you know, and I listen. There's a whole thing of of love, but I've worked so. Hard hard to get to this point and I literally came from you know dad foreclosure a mom passing away without life insurance um, all the things and any reason we've all been through drama every reason right, through right, life right, right. but I've been through things that like to get here I'm not going back you know I'm not gonna let I watched my brother uh, have one girl my older brother I uh, really have such a hold on him and uh, and it just it makes me but man I, I'll admit man I fall as fast just like any of them so that's why for two years when I was coding the software I gave up girls and uh, alcohol uh, just to build uh, AI, the first AI software, uh, take two social and, and then post flow. Yeah, I mean, look, you gotta have discipline, right? You gotta know what you're getting into because a relationship's like almost like another business, you know what I mean? And if you put in all this hard work and then you have someone that's just gonna be with you or lay off the gas and now, you know, gonna take basically half of everything you worked so hard for, man. I mean, it's like, it's not fair. Yeah, no. I, 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 I think it should be both ways and for, for a successful woman too, right? If she's successful, I'm pretty sure Jeff, Jeff Bezos' ex-wife got a prenup, you know, whoever, whoever she's yeah, with now. She got, she got something out of it, yeah, now, right? And yeah. that's that's the target. So, I, I listen, I always hated my name. Like, I love your name. It's a great name. Yeah. It's, it's a good, you have the suave, you have all yeah. things. Jeff is just, there was, when I used to teach behavioral middle school, uh, there was a 22 Drum Street, really popular movie. And I got thought it would be funny to come and go, hey, my name is Jeff. And all the kids started laughing, laughing and I just got made fun of all the time. There's so Jeffrey Dahmer, all these horrible names, right? Yeah, yeah. So Jeff Bezos, was the first guy who actually started in his computer just the same exact way. Now the one of the richest guys kind of looks like a person that looks like an evil billion, billion if you look at him now, like a bald <laughs> head and everything. But um, like this life feels like a movie now. Um, but I don't, I don't ever dis, um, you know, despair anybody for their success. And right. because he has my name and because he's one of the richest guys in the world, you know, obviously they're doing the world, you know, I feel like that's a good target to reach for that, you know, so goal is to be richer than Jeff, Jeff Bezos. Man, that's a great goal to aim for because you want to set the bar high. And man. I say an affirmation yeah. every day. I say everybody will buy from me because everybody here and everybody watching has bought from Amazon and Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Mostly everybody in the world, right? I mean, all the equipment that we're filming on right, Amazon, is from right? Amazon. Do you have an Amazon affiliate link? Uh, probably. Yeah. yeah so yeah, I, 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 thanks to June of Viral Alchemy, we just set that up for all that. I was checking out your nice, uh, I got to get a new lens. We're going, uh, you know, Graham Steven, Graham Stephan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're doing for all our personal branding, his story video with the Lambo in the back. Maybe when we get the Lambo, we'll park it back there. Um, we're going to do a story video of kind of basically how I got there for not only me, but for, um, uh, some of some of my clients right now. Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, yeah, I have a story to sell, right? You got to yes. always be selling. Well, and I love that goal. What What are some of your daily affirmations? Because I recently went, you know, traveled to another city in Colombia, and I saw this gentleman's operation, and it was massive, okay. right? Yeah. And just today, for 13 minutes, I wasn't saying them out loud, but I'm in my cold plunge, saying all these different affirmations yeah. for 13 minutes doing nose breathing. So I thought that that was really interesting seeing his affirmation. So I'm just breathing through my nose, saying these affirmations in my mind, but what, what are some of the affirmations you go over every yeah, day? Yeah, so there's, if anybody DMs me, Jeff the Entrepreneur, I'll send you one of the affirmation videos that actually I was uh, listening to this morning. Yeah. Um, but I am a child of God, I am worthy, uh, money's attracted to me, I have a million, uh, I used to have a millionaire mind, now I say I have a billionaire mind, You're so billionaire that answers your question there. Yeah. Uh, I say, uh, I yield to God who I'm called to serve, that was a huge one. A lot of times, you know, kind of with another mentor who was trying to get every single sale, I was right. kind of trying to get every sale to prove them entrepreneur. Uh, 
uh, when I kind of went from that part of I yield to God, hey, who am I called to serve before a sales call? Or I was actually just on a call training one of our sales guys today, and he did really good. I actually was like, hey, why don't you just wing it and do it how you are? And, and I learned from him, right? And like, right. I think a lot of times the leadership is in empowering leaders is letting people go and letting them lead in a point, taking a part of a really good, great question he said. He said, hey, if this package was perfect for you, what would that look like? And the person told it everything that we had, right? And like, I think a lot of times in life, it gets, um, people get overcomplicated stuff. They want something when it's so system structured. Uh, you definitely need systems to go, but really where you allow people to become leaders is where you allow, allow them to really lean into their talents. And you know, I'm learning that now um, 100% with Change Lives Consulting. Absolutely. Yeah, say that line again, because I think that was so, I like that line. So that sales guy that you were training yeah. today, he taught you that line, or he said that line? Yeah, yeah like he said it? that we actually had it if on the part of- if, the perf if, if, what would the perfect package look so like? So yeah, you? so what he did, there's five questions uh, that he, he I let him teach. Um, I brought him in because he was really, really good with a lot of knowledge, and I brought him in to teach my inner circle. We do an inner circle every Tuesday nights. I bring in some guest speakers and interview them. Um, and this one, this time he brought the five questions you want to ask. And the, the, that question was, you know, if this was everything uh, that it, if it was everything that you uh, imagine would be, what would that look like to you? So then it just gets the people to talk, you know, and the other ones, too, we can go over them, too. But uh, these are good. Definitely. Hey, why are we on the call today? You know, let them talk. You right, know? I think right. sales a lot of times, too, where I had success. It's really when I just shut up. Right. Yeah. I shut up just listen and then I knew if I could help them or not. And really all sales is is really just showing that you can help somebody in a way, you know? And right now when you have a lot of leads, when you have a million people, not a million, but quite a few people reaching out, hey, can I get your brain on this? Uh, that's when you get to pick who you wanna work with and right. that's the best, you know? Yeah, let's talk about that consulting, mm. branding. There's a lot of people doing branding, right? Let's say, you know, there's companies, there's entrepreneurs, there's, you know, people, that show up overnight, whatever. Why would, how do you stand out, right? What's different about you? Cause I can sense you're, you know, yeah. just being here in the room with you, you know, you're different, you bring something unique. Yeah. Got this billionaire mindset, you're hungry, you can go after it. I know you wake up early, man. I know you wake yeah. up early and you stay late. So why, how are you different? Yeah, well, when I'm on our merch line, my dreams keep me awake. Uh, that's very true. Uh, we do need sleep. Tony Robbins, shout out to Life Force. I, I, I do try and get to bed at 10 o'clock every night. It's funny, we're in Medellin, Columbia. Ladies are hitting me up and I'm like, no, I'm going to bed. They're like, you're yeah. going to bed, right? The, the now town's rocking. They go, yeah. they party for like three days here. You know, exactly. I learned that uh, the hard way. But um, but no, 100%, the, I think a lot of things that, that it really just make anybody um, just stand out is your story, right. okay? And the, me, the drive that I have in me, why I have so much energy is I'm living for two. Uh, in short, uh, five years ago or six years ago, my older brother Jay, he's the one who married a Playboy model. Um, they had everything, Range Rover, the house with the pool in it, everything. And uh, she was in the process of, um, she was talking to another guy and he was dead inside. So I moved into Connecticut where I'm from. Me and him had the dream to build a coffee shop music studio. He wrote it on a napkin. Um, and I remember he wrote it on a goal. Uh, he had a tattoo, 77 to 99. 99 was the year my mom died. 77 was the year he was born. So we decided because he wanted to win back his family and earn this money uh, that we'd make 77 million and we'd do it through this business. Um, and I never saw him so clear and focused. And he told me he wrote the goals down in the car. No, I wrote them down. I was like, we got to write to go. Yeah, they're already wrote down. I still have it somewhere. And uh, yeah. and so anyway, I went to wake him up and he didn't wake up. He died on drugs, fat, and I went to wake him to get a haircut. And when that happened, um, it was, uh, I went to therapy. I was teaching at Beaver Middle School. I was in uh, the tech thing, teaching photography in a coding class. One of my students committed suicide. They put me in therapy. The lady said, you have ADD, OCD. I said, fine, med me up. Went to my dad. Uh, my dad gave me a book, Powers of Conscious Mind. You ever read that book? And I've read so many, I, I'm not it's, sure. It's, it's yeah. not free on YouTube, yeah. you can watch right, it. It's kind a of a hard it. book, but it's really yeah. good. It's, it's almost like affirmations, yeah. like what speaks to your mind when you're, the stories that tell ourselves. Powerful book, I didn't feel like reading. Showed me a video by a guy. People get mad that I mentioned him, but his name was Grant Cardone, man. And uh, I watched that video, he said, who's that guy? I went home that day, I, I prayed. I was like, God, I don't care if I wake up. I searched depression, Grant Cardone, you ever see that video? 
I've seen so I've seen a lot of Grant so that's the best video it's Young Hustlers video he has a, he has a yeah. hat on yeah. starts talking about being in a threesome and I'm depressed I literally don't want to live I pray God don't wake me up I'm literally on in the bed I'm like who's this guy talking about a threesome right and uh, depression and then he said that if Oprah and you know who Oprah is yeah, right yeah, yeah. and if Oprah could do it she's black she's black and she was raped when she's young he said every reason not to succeed did she succeed and I watched Grant with all this energy you know Grant's energy yeah of course I thought if this guy can do it I can do it so I got a bed I wrote down I'm gonna build the biggest franchise ever and honor my brother called Kokomo Jays, you don't give up in America. And that's what you're watching in this day. And then, you know, what brought me to the consulting thing, it's funny, so many different consultings or McKenzie or these big consulting firms kind of started like I did, where they had all this stuff, where they learned all this knowledge and built up all these connections, where then they were able to passion that, hey, don't do this, I already did this, do this, and made people win. And basically, um, yeah, the, how, how that, that's, that's my inner drive because of that. So how I got into personal branding was Gary V, man. Yeah, I give a big shout out to Gary V. As much as I love Grant, Gary V, I documented, I didn't create. Uh, as messy as it was, I just went live and did all this stuff. I documented it. I went door to door for solar and I documented it on Facebook Live. Anybody in the solar who wants a solar hack, do this. Go search a town page, go Facebook Live, go emotion, value, subtle call to action, and go live and tell about what you're doing. I did that. I said, hey, I'm out here chasing a dream for my brother. I'm doing solar. I don't want to knock on your door if you don't need it. But if anybody needs solar, let me know. Not only that, people resonated with me. They shared that video. This is why sharing value is good yeah. to all these town pages. I got more leads for solar than I knew what to do with at the time. Um, and I was I was getting paid 700 per lead, and then I started selling my companies. Next thing you know, companies start flying me out. Hey, how are you getting these leads? And then there were other ways. I started doing webinars. I just started figuring out which way to get leads for it. And I went to solar, then photography business, then a video editing business. That's when I coded a software script. I went to the event. It was a 997 course on how to make money on Instagram. I bought it, I raised my hand. The guy actually at the time, he knows Eric Klein actually. Eric Klein yeah. knew him, uh, but he goes, um, who would pay grand for this? And at the time I was broke as I was, and I raised my hand as high as I can. Like I would, it's someone's got my money, right? I was all in that mind. And right, he right. got all shy. I sold it for 987. He showed at the time how to fake an Instagram, how to post a cool picture and to do this and do the thing and then go buy the followers and sell the followers. And everybody felt they got scammed. I said, no, cool. I know that's how people do it. I'm just not gonna do it that way. I'm gonna be Jeff the Entrepreneur. I'm just gonna document this journey. And now I've built out all this since then. The software, pitching it, buying some real estate, doing a lot of stuff with Grant. Grant telling me to go work for a local multimillionaire, went to serve from him and just did his marketing for free, then led me um, to where, where I am today. Yeah, I mean, your story is powerful. You know, you got something, I've, I've, I've felt that energy, right? Your brother, were you close to your brother? You know? Oh you yeah, my older brother was the cool guy. Like I yeah. always wanted to be exactly like him. Yeah. Like, like 100%, he was the one who got all the girls. Like, you know, at the time I was, uh, I was like the guy coding, right? And he was this guy that every girl liked. He was driving the cool cars. He had the every all that, right? Yeah, that yeah, that yeah. you want. And just wanted to be like him, man. Yeah. And I always stood up for him. He's kind of the prodigal son uh, where he always kind of rebelled and stuff. And I always felt like he didn't get a sheer shake. When my mom passed, people put a lot of blame on him. He got smoking weed, which I know people get very into, hey, weed's okay, it's not too bad. Weed became a gateway drug for my brother. It, right. Honestly, and I know maybe it doesn't to people, people, you know, do that. Listen, I want to like go on it. but. I, Weed slows everybody down, man. And like, at the end of the day, um, I think, you know, if he went back, if he knew what I knew now, if he saw, I said this to Grant, if he saw the video, I feel like it would have saved him. Grant was a guy who was a druggie and, and overcame it. And now he threw that same obsession into success. My brother uh, totally could have done that. Uh, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan talked about his older brother. Uh, did you see this or not? I didn't see that one. No. So yeah, there's a great movie you should watch, Air, uh, coming out. My mentor, Patrick Ben David said, watch it, he watched it twice. Um, but Michael Jordan said just recently in an interview that his older brother who didn't grow to 6'6", was way, he used to beat him all the time. And my brother used to like beat me all the time. And he never grew, Michael Jordan grew, and he's like, you would all be asking, it's, it's you know Larry's brother, right? Michael Jordan. This is Michael Jordan we know, right? Right, right. And it, I, I feel like this happens so many times that even my brother Jay, that's why it's Kokomo Jays that I wanna build. That's okay. why I go Jeff J Cunningham. Right. Yeah, it sounds presidential, but uh, Jeff J, like I wanna own that. I always wanna remember that's what I'm building it for, you You're know? You're getting ready. You're getting ready for, for what's coming. Yeah. Well, sounds presidential because yeah, talk no, to us about that, man. What are, you, what are your aspirations there? How old are you right now? So yeah, uh, 37. You're 37, so you got what, a good 20 years minimum, right? Dude, I don't think as America we have 20 years right now. Are you watching what's going on? 
America? I mean, that's like a that's like a two hour. Where are you from? You from here? I'm from the United States. I'm from okay, United States. States. Yeah, where, I was born in Los Angeles. I was Los, born in Los Angeles? Angeles. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And I, lived, I lived in Los Angeles before it was before turning into a communist. I was gonna say you lived yeah. there when it was nice, right? Yeah, Still yeah. There. I'm gonna be there. Shout out to Trisha Love, Eternal Trisha Love, uh, for LA Style Most Influential uh, they, um, of 2023. Um, so that's it. I think they're writing up something about that, but listen, there's something right now and I don't want to get this banned. And so even crazy. Where's this on YouTube? It's going to be on YouTube. It's going to be Okay. On, so yeah. I'll, I'll be careful, which is crazy. You have to be careful. Do you put it on rumble? Rumble? Not yet, man. We, we should get, get on Rumble. Rumble's Rumble. coming yeah, out now. We so my Kavara Alchemy, uh, they're, Rumble's going to come out with shorts and everything. And with the whole Tucker thing going on, uh, there's, there, there's a big play on it. Uh, did you see what PBD did for Tucker? How he offered I saw contract? that. I saw that. He, he had a solid offer. Dude, I was solid thinking, offer. I saw it like two days ago, and then I was thinking about it today. I was like, that's... Cause Dude, by the way, PBD, Patrick Bonilla, I will take that offer. Give me some time. I will do exactly, despite whatever my dad says, I'm passionate about freedom to speak about it, no matter why. I told Andy Forselli this. Yeah. I will do similar content. Once we rebrand the Jeff J. Cunningham Co channel or Jeff the Entrepreneur, which in June tells me to do, and I'll, I'll get Tucker ratings. And then I would love Dude, to you have you. You'll definitely crush, right? Yeah, I, I know. can see you out there getting people rattled up. You know? Oh, well, there's so there's something right now, and I'll do it right now. Everybody Google this Agenda 2030. Do you know what that is? No, I don't know. What okay, that's why everybody should look at it. It's 45 United Nations signed up for it. You can look it up right yeah. now. Everybody look it up right now. Agenda 2030? Agenda 20. There was actually Agenda 2020, right? It will happen in 21. There's Agenda 21. So 45 United Nations. This is why I'm passionate. You said, hey, you got 20 years for president. I think it's either 2024, but I'll do it without funding. I'll have to get funding from somebody else. 2024 is a little... Yeah, but here's the thing. The fact... That, looking at next year. But listen, they yeah. said that to me when I ran for... Um, so literally, my, my uh, consulting firm, right? When I started talking about this, I was on um, with the Up Level Entrepreneur podcast. A VC hits me up and says, hey, if you want to run for president, sell us your consulting firm right now. We'll buy it. I have the guys who fund presidents. It got real, okay? My dad, I started, started out as marketing, like, hey, this country, I'll, I'll run for president. Like, that's cool. Because two things, if you want to become significant to anybody, tell people you got a boxing match or you're going to run for president. Tell them I'm a marketing consultant. Tell you do personal branding. Ah, eh, people don't really care. Say those two things, they remember you for some reason, right? So where's the boxing match? And oh, what's your name when you run for president, yeah. right? So it started out as like a, a branding thing. Hey, this is an anchor. Right, and literally, it's like karaoke. Right, you ever go into karaoke? You want to sing karaoke, and you're like, oh, I can't sing. Do you like singing karaoke? I've never sang, bro. But, but you ever want to sing karaoke? Like, you see people singing, you're like that'd be nice. Yeah, I mean, it's probably okay. Fun, so, yeah. what if you walked in karaoke and you saw this guy singing and he was bombing it, and you were like, I could sing better than him, right? That's what's going on in the U.S. right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Joe Biden, man, I, I could. But do Joe Biden, than let's be real. I've never seen this. Uh -huh. He's not, he's like, they're telling him what to say, what to do, where to walk, where the exit is, you know, yeah. when to go to sleep. Like, he's not doing, like, he's just like a puppet. Like, yeah, just, do, do you really? Do I, you don't, re I don't even think he knows where he's at. So I don't even think he knows how many votes he got. Yeah. And I don't think, I honestly, and I'm going to say this as quick as I can, I honestly don't think uh, anybody thinks he got that many votes. All right, there's, there's, you can watch 3,000 Mules, man. Listen, I, I watched the last movie I watched with my dad. We were supposed to go see Top Gun. Sorry, dad, but we watched 3,000 movies in the theater and uh, it, it definitely uh, raised some concerns. We can vote for American Idol with phones and everything, but yet now to vote in, uh, I was just talking to a guy uh, over here about the politics here. And I was telling him exactly what I would do if I was president, right? And what I do to help. You wanna know what's country. crazy before we get off topic? Yeah. Staying on that, yeah. I, did, I was looking at a TikTok I did uh, about a year ago. So get this here. There's about 50 million people in Colombia. Okay. Uh, so got... about 20%, which is 10 million people, voted, right? Uh -huh. And here's how the voting happens here. You have from eight, you, you, first of all, you can only vote in one day. Okay. One day. Okay. From 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. That's it. You vote one day in a how many hours is that that's uh that's an eight hour window basically okay yeah so to get 10 million people across the whole country uh -huh. to vote in an eight hour window and that's it you cut off you go from eight to four and that's it you can't vote any other time okay. if you're sick that day if you threw up if you woke up hungover or you had a flat tire yeah. if something came up and you weren't able to go you can vote All right. so that's even worse here in my opinion yeah i don't know what you think that's I stopped crazy. it. Yeah. So that's, that's the, yeah, it's, it's so not to 
talked about anything I don't know, but I was talking to Awardo at uh, El Corral over there. Awardo, yeah. by the way, he should run for office here. If he could, I asked him he could. He's like, well, he told me there was a young guy, he's like, like you, who ran, and he, he knew the politics pretty well, and he said pretty much the same thing. Um, how do you, do you, have you voted here or no? I did vote here, yeah. So I, is it like ballots, like you have to fill them out and put them in a slip? I mean, yeah, it's literally like, it's pretty easy. You just go, they hand you a ballot, all right, this, So, this, okay, this, yeah. cool, it's easy. Why do we have blockchain Bitcoin technology, right? And we have Facebook, we have all this stuff here that we're like scribbling and like, doesn't it make more sense that like that could kind of be thwarted? Like go watch 3000 Moves too, and then vote for yourself. 3000, that's not a movie? Yeah, it's, it's a documentary. It's a chance to uh, the uh my, my dad's gonna get mad because he gets mad I talk politics here, but like it's not even really politics, it's liberty, like it's freedom. The reason why I don't wanna run, it's not a left or right thing, it's freedom. We are losing our freedoms. Agenda yeah. 2030, right? Yeah, I didn't even go into that, did I? The one, countries are going to come together. Yeah, but one world currency and eradicate poverty. I'm a Jesus guy. In the Bible, it says, uh, well, the poor will always be among us. Eradicating poverty is really what it's trying to do is separate the 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 um, the thing. There, do you know what UBI is? It's a bank? No, universal basic income. Okay. So we all get paid the same rate. No matter how hard you work in your real estate business, no matter what I do, we all get the same thing. And it, Agenda 2030 is to make that award. Like this is, there's Fed, do you know what Fed now is? No. So Fed now is, um, is basically something they're gonna be testing out in the banks, uh, like how you send Zelle, and the Fed's gonna be in control of all the banks and certain banks. And why I believe, and this isn't proof, not financial, that banks are going out, is for the, all the banks that have Fed now um, to do it. So the C, um, central bank digital currency, you know, you heard about that? Yeah. So that Ron DeSantis, and good for him, and I call every governor to do this, came out and said, hey, do not do this, right? Cash pesos is king in a way where you have the freedom of what it is. Once a government can tell you, and China's doing it right now in China, there's a great video by Ray Diallo. Everybody should watch it, Changing the World Order. Have you seen it? I've heard his audiobooks. And yeah, yeah so Ray, it. it's a 30 minute video, it's an animated video, and it talks about how the world order has always changed. And it's always, it's not even, uh, it's apolitical. Uh, you can look at uh, every year of even even when China, everything happened there, there was something light and left and then communists took over. And it's just been a thing. And that's what we're going towards America. So my whole goal is, listen, I know 2024, I maybe have no shot, but right. I might not have a chance in 2028. That's right. that's where, right. th that's where like, when people are like, hey, you're not going out to party, Jeff? No, I'm staying here because I'm planning the next 15 moves, you know, right? If I do have to, I hope I don't have to run. I No offense, I'm gonna be stopping in Washington DC for the first time, uh, this when I'm flying back, I'm gonna have a nice little layover there. I'm gonna decide if I want that to be a future home for few years okay right, right, i right. love miami man i love medellin right i love these places um so i, I washington dc i don't know if i love maybe we could move the white house to uh, miami you know the best city in america thank you right. francis suarez i hope francis suarez runs you know francis suarez yeah the mayor of miami yeah yeah we're gonna well, i'm gonna catch up with him but uh he's he's someone that i think uh i would fully endorse let's go into that man because you told me about grant cardone yeah. annie frisella yeah. Albert Preciado, you haven't mentioned him, but you know, I know you, you're well connected with all these people, right? Yeah, I would like it to look at it this way. They're well connected with me. Okay. Okay, and I think you gotta look at it that way. Yeah. Like, because when people go and you put people on a pedestal, I was at an say event. Say that again, say that again. You gotta say that again. So right people, yeah. they're connected with they're me. They're connected with you. There like, you go. Like I'm going places, I'm holding up as much as I can. I'm not perfect by any means, right. but I have, uh, Patrick and David sent me a message once. He said, hey, looking for what you're able to do, you're very capable, right? And a lot of times as entrepreneurs, any entrepreneur, Michael Jordan, right? Tom Brady, um, you wanna prove people wrong all the time. You ever get there where you wanna yeah, prove someone wrong, right? I think where it is where you start to grow is when you start proving people that you, you like uh, uh, right. Tim Story was the first guy who publicly believed in me. And I, so this is what you have to do. You have to believe in your mission, in your goal, and that they're they're lucky to have you going forward with with the mission. You know what I mean? I was at an event. This was gonna say I was at an event, and I heard a guy go. He got up on stage. I'm at the event. I bought like the highest ticket. I'm sitting in the front right. This is at the beginning of the journey. And he goes, guys, just so you want to know, everybody wants to come uh, pick our brains and talk to us. I didn't even know who the guy was. And he goes, um, you guys gotta you know network with people amongst yourselves and everything like that, right? And he heard that, and I thought, well, if they're all gonna listen to him, then that's that's shoot. I could talk to them, and that's what I did. I, 
really went up to him and it's um, it's very simple. To Amplify Your Influence is a great book. Uh, Arturo told me about a great book, Renee, see Renee speak. I actually saw him speak when when uh, Bradley, I'll give Bradley credit for selling my number for 10,000 on Instagram, because it's Shimmick. When Shimmick said, you don't have a personal brand, I listed my number on Instagram for 10K. And then uh, there were four people DM'd me, but one of them had it. Uh, uh, Ron K, never give up, great guy, follow him. Awesome dude, um, Ron Kil Kilgarland. Um, really, really, uh, really has gone through so many things. It really inspires me. He's, he's had a pivotal part of changing my Ron life. Ron who? Ron Kil Kargan, uh, Kilgarland, he's gonna kill my name because I can't say him. Ron the Killer. Uh, Ron K, never give up, RK. He's doing a personal branding thing. Uh, he built up a whole business for a time. Um, he literally, uh, I'm gonna write a book after, I'm coming out with a book called Getting Rich Recession and explaining all this. Um, and it's, it's out, you can go to gettingrichrecession.com and pre-order it. Um, but I, I think I'm gonna write a book after with them, Building with a Billionaire, because I've never seen someone build uh, as him with such pursuit. I've had a lot of clients come on, but no, what do we need? Okay, we'll do this, hey, and he's an expert with ChatGPT, man. The guy's pumping out eBooks like there's no problem, you know, so. I love it. I love everything you just said, man. So how do you become that person then, right? Yeah. That they want to be connected with you, right? All of these people, Greg Cardone, everybody you've been mentioning, yeah. right? So you, you tell a story. It's as simple as that. Facts tell and stories sell. And you got to be able to read people. And for me, it was always easy. Actually, there was a girl I met when I, when I swore off girls for two years. I, uh, I, went, I went down on a beach. I actually went on, a, I went on Tinder app. I met this girl, okay? down at, at the beach, and it was the first girl I met, uh, Sylvia Leslie, I'll give her a shout out because she's, um, she, I, I, I pray for her, she, she has a lot of gifts. And I started predicting stuff and reading stuff. She goes, you're a medium. And I was like, what's that? And she, she came from a very Christian and new age uh, like lifestyle in um, Dominican. And when we talked about that, I always knew I had this gift where I could read stuff. But even if you can't read it, there's different ways to read it. So just like how your eyebrows are, and I gotta give a shout out to a lot of different people who teach this, but these are all masterminds. You ever see about the eyebrows thing? I haven't seen that. So if the eyebrows are wide, okay, if they're open and wide, it means they care about people around them. If they're pointed in, it means there's those analytical people who are, because they're pointed in, because it's their facial expression. If they're straight, it means get straight to the point with them. Okay. So what are my eyebrows? Uh, that's what I was, I was actually looking at. They're a little bit straight, which makes me be like, man, I'm not getting straight to the point here. Uh, but they're a little rounded. So I think, I think they're more rounded, which means you care about people, okay, which I, I see because you good, have a good, good heart. That's good, what it means. Good. So that, then it means I could open up. Yeah, but, yeah. but like, so the, these little, there's so many different things you can do. But reading someone and knowing how to talk to them is huge. I would talk to Grant Cardone about value first before right. I tell my story, my sad story. What value do I have to bring? And that's what he cares about. So I'd go, yeah. hey man, I can make you, how Brandon Dawson, hook bro, he was in this stage, he taught Grant, hey man, I can help you be Cardone Ventures and a solid pitch. Shout out to Brandon Dawson for working with my pitch when I had my software post flow in his car, uh, the goodness of his heart. Uh, I, I give a lot of Antonio White. Uh, there's been so many people that have helped me, and I feel like a lot of times, um, you know, you don't know these names, and I feel like they're Ferrano. And these are all guys I want to work with. Um, that you know, for personal branding, blow up people have been a part of my success. You know. Yeah, I mean, you got to bring value, right? You got to know what you're going into. You can't be fumbling around and. Yeah, I guess, you know, to these people straight to the point, like you said. Yeah, no, but That's not true. really. So here's the thing. When someone asks you, if I ask you, what do you do for work? Okay, what would you say? You know, I do real estate investing. Yeah, so, okay, don't say that. Because then you're a commodity, okay? Like other people do real estate investing. That moment right there is a chance to tell your story. It's For our marketing, it's a chance to the market. So if I say, what do you do for work? You'll form out every conversation. And I saw this at a multi-level marketing, tell your old story to new people every day. And it's it's true. So whatever your story is, emotion, value, subtle call. So really, if emotion, you- Emotion, value, subtle- Emotion, value, and a subtle call to action. Oh, so I ask more. So like, ask me what I do for work. What do you do for work? So have you ever uh, wanted to buy something and thought you might, uh, maybe lost money and thought you'd get scammed? I have. That happened time and time again, and I was tired of building people's personal brand to watch them get scammed. I built the most trusted uh, consulting firm called Change Life Consulting, where we look over everybody and we make sure that they, we care with their heart for their soul for success so they don't lose their time or their money. Right. So then that makes that's, that's all I said. Right. right. Ask a question in that. So the, and you can do this with anything. Like I, I could have went back and told what do you do for work? I already told the story about my brother. A lot of times I'll lead with that because that's my why. So you tell your why or your story depending on the person. 
Gotcha. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and then then they ask, then they're curious, you know, like, oh, yeah. do you have a card? Who are yeah. you? You know, hey, yeah. let me get your number, you know? Change Lives Consultant. What's what's behind that name, right? How'd you come up with so the name? So literally, the there's yeah. a guy uh, in, um, where was it? In, uh, in the middle school, when I used to teach middle school, I used to be a behavioral middle school teacher. And uh, one of my favorite students, I actually, the, my mug is in North Miami that says to teach is to touch lives for others. And one of my- uh, What did you teach, North Miami? No, I, well, I taught a girl about honesty in North Miami. I'll say that much. Um, gave her a little gift of a coffee mug. If we actually call it Honest Joe, it's gonna be named after uh, a chapter in my book, Getting Rich Recession, called Self-Discipline and Self-Respect. Great book, I uh, had a lot of people who really cared and looked out for me. And, but nobody can look out for you more than you look out for yourself. Uh, but the, the changing lives came from, there was a girl, I used to sit on one knee all the time and, um, and talk to these middle school students to be there. And she would come by and she'd, she'd slip, walk by going to detention because she'd get kicked out of school. It was a fun school, man. These kids did whatever they wanted, right? Really, uh, it was pretty crazy. And she'd go, Jeff, we changing lives? I was like, we changing lives. And that's literally where the name came from. And um, one of the guys told me, oh, you can't have that name. That's my name. I made it up because then he like made her say it. And so then later on where it came from, fast forward to uh, minus 874 in my bank account, something like that. I just paid my furnace guy. I paid one of my video editing guys when I have it. My, my um, multimillionaire laid me off. My tenant called not to pay. And my Russian coders threatened to leave my software. Damn. And, yep, this is all this is so true. I ran a webinar uh, by myself, a few webinars uh, called Make More Money Now because I needed to make more money now. And that was really the reason why. Wow, it's so crazy. It's the most ugliest slides, but the value on it, I still teach today. Yeah. Um, and that was it. And I sold a $250 session. And I said, you make $2,500 to get your money back. That's That was my whole deal. And um, and I kept doing it. And people kept saying, after they got off the call, I said, Jeff, this is life-changing. You've changed, you've changed my life. They, they, I have multiple testimonies of that. So then I was like, okay, we're changing lives. Like, you know what? I don't even know what the deal is, but we're going to change some lives and do it. And really what it was, was helping people figure out, and it's the gift that God's given me. I can't even give credit for it, of being able to realize where people are, read it, format it in a good, a good way, um, and, and really help them, empower them to go on. Whether they become a licensee and work with us or they do it for themselves, it's my gift. And I, I, that's why I was at Grow for God conference and I prayed. I was like, God, am I supposed to do this? I'm not not Tony Robbins, who am I? And a guy tapped me on the shoulder and said, God says the answer is yes. So I sold my four unit. If it wasn't enough for a tour, I'd be like, sell it, get out of here, which I wasn't listening. I had to hear from God and a girl. It's always a girl, right? Yeah. She was like, I've shown her people paying me 5,000 for consulting to be like, I can provide for you. Look, this is what people pay. But at the same time, I was still bartending and selling windows and I couldn't let those up. And she's like, you don't believe in yourself. And I was like, damn, she's right. So then I, I, I sold my four unit, sold everything. And Took a boxing match, got my ass beat, but that was that was part of That's you know part of the journey. Yeah, well, yeah. That, that, that probably could have done without that, but it was fun, man. I had a lot of fun. Got to have fun along the way, man. Yeah, because you know, what? I always feel like I, because when I looked at it, when they DM'd me, EFC boxing, shout out to them and celebrity boxing and and Jake Paul. I, I was calling Jake Paul out first. I think Jake Paul is a marketing genius. How he's done everything, uh, like and I, listen, there's a lot of marketing geniuses. I do it uh, very similar to what Jake Paul does. He does anchors, right? Him calling out Dana White, and I love Dana. Wish him he wouldn't call Dana White so much, but he needs Dana's audience. Dana's built out the UFC. Yeah. Do you watch UFC? Uh, yeah, every once in a while, I catch a, a yeah, but fight. it's uh, the UFC was not that long. No. I remember when UFC was that. It was crazy. That's yeah. marketing with a brand. He yeah. built this huge brand. I went out. We're going to have Dana, uh, a big part of what, what we're doing with Kokomo Jays, because uh, he's been a big part of me. He watched one video uh, that I watched about. He's listening to to um, Tony Robbins. He said, you could always go back and be a bellhop. And that was when I quit teaching and I went into um, the first job. I've always had like a certain voice that heard it. Uh, this one happened to be God's. Yeah. Who have been some of your biggest mentors, right? Yeah, uh, so I think it all depends over the time. And like, yeah. I could go through a whole list. Um, I mean, Patrick and David right now, yeah. uh, by the way, he speaks uh, freedom and capitalism. His mastermind calls value tainment. Uh, I got written approval to be like, um, to, to use the vault. If nobody goes to the vault training, I get paid nothing for this. Or maybe, hey, let's work out a deal, Pat. Um, I'll do some marketing, but, uh, cause I have, I'm doing brand ambassador stuff right now. Right. One of them, virtual solar partners, shout out to Justin. I did a shout out. I made 1500 from a shout out the other day. I get paid for Zara now, cause Zara pays me uh, the thing to get my style up, right? Uh, do you know Zara? Yeah, yeah. I love Zara, man. My ex yeah. showed me Zara. I used to get so broken heart, went to Zara. Now I created a better memory for Zara. That's how you get over, uh, you, you know, uh, sad memories yeah. but um patrick and david um 
Obviously, listen, Grant Cardone was the first, uh, you know, and listen, um, Gary V, probably Gary V Topo, even now, Gary V, man, I wish, um, I, I wish I, uh, I, w I wish he sold courses, honestly. I know he doesn't, but I'd probably pay more attention to some of his content if he did, you know? I, I bought so many courses. Um, Sean Canal, YouTube. Um, who else? I mean, I could just go down the list, right? But I mean, probably the top three, I always say the Mount Rushmore. And it's funny, because it always used to be this. Like, who's your Mount Rushmore of success, right? Right. Uh, mine, for inspiration, um, was, and this was back when I was a teacher, Martin Luther King Jr., because the way he led with love over hope, I always thought that was crazy. Like, we still remember his name, right? And it was through, through a dark time when he couldn't. And I used to joke around and say, man, he has a day, I want a week. And my whole goal was that, was just like, he just made such an important, we, we gave, you know, that, then he led with love and he imparted so much change. Um, and then I said, Tim Tebow, the way Tim Tebow made it really cool to be a Christian and looked and lived a lifestyle and wasn't afraid of that. Um, and, and his football career, man, was phenomenal. Like people can hate on it, but it was magical that it was years with Denver and he got a bad shake. But just even what he does now, you know, uh, I'm going to the Philippines because of him because he used to go there as a missionary. I'm going to go do an event uh, with one of my business partners. Um, third, um, would probably be Grant Cardone, man. I got to put Grant on there as much as, um, um, yeah, man, Grant's, he's a top G, man. Yeah. You know, he just is, man. At the end time, I still like him. I'll still go to his boot camps. Uh, I, I know he, I know he ruffles feathers with some people, and I know I don't condone everything he says, just like Andrew Tate, right? But, man, they say more right than wrong, you know? And when nobody's perfect, and these guys who put out, like willingly put out what it is and are not afraid to put it out. I admire that, man. I got, I got to do more of that, you know? And then for the fourth man, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll be the future first lady, man. We got we to make room for that. But, um, but I think it would definitely be, um, It'd be Patrick and David now, man. He's really made such yeah. an impact. His, yeah. his vault event. I was right after I prayed, I wound up at, um, that event, and um, it, it, and I remember raising my hand and saying, he's like, well, what do you want? I said, this guy, he just flew me out. He was flying me out, staked in the whole thing. Uh, shout out to Brian Murdoch, All World Communications, to help me um, help his firm. And I said, I think this guy's trying to recruit me as a sales guy. And Patrick Navy goes, what do you want? I said, I'm starting my consulting firm. And he goes, okay, write this down. And he gave me something to write down, and that, that changed everything. That's just that, that David's godfather, yeah. man. I mean, yeah, he really is. Amazing. So I literally download on all his stuff. Him? Oh, and I got to put Hermosi up there too. I got. I got. I got to say, it, it reminds me of like I told you, went to Parade recently. It reminds me of, you know, what Scott told me is like, yeah. I had the best mentors he had were through books. Like they weren't people that were necessarily there, yeah. right? Like the Gary Bees, the Grant Cardone, like, right. but people that you can. Yeah, I mean, so Gary V, man, I'll give, I'll give something to Gary. Gary V says he doesn't read books. I don't read books. You ever hear him say that? He says that all the time. Yeah. He says it like as a, a badge of honor, you know. Like, right, uh, and I, I always think that's bad. So one thing that I love, and I was actually just talking uh, to, I, um, there's a great hack that I learned from uh, Al Preciado. You put a book, you highlight it on your Instagram story. When people ask what book it is, it's a lead for a sale. And the he, what I'm saying, dude, don't waste your time on books. You gotta take action. I don't think that's the case. I think find a few books, $100 million offers, the 10X rule, your next five moves, those three books right there, uh, Winning by Tim Grover, you ever read that yeah, book? Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, I mean, I could go through so many. Yeah, um, there's so many good books. So, right? And But what I would do, instead of just trying, I, there was a time when I would read books and I would, I would try and read as many books and I would kind of miss pieces. When I find a good book, I just go in it over and over again. Uh, I think Hermosi calls them Hercules days, right? So right now with AI, we're doing Hercules days. I'm learning stuff, I'm going to AI trainings, I'm going to this i'm learning that i'm finding code that we can you know how you can take a code and put it into um a google sheet you know how you can do that and you put a google sheet and i'll just right, organize right, everything right, right, right. Dude, it's uh, it's amazing there's so many companies not doing that but using it every day that's a skill set right now that anybody figures out the code does that you can make money just connecting that dot right there yeah yeah i mean there's so many ways to learn to grow to connect mentors man it's like i was thinking like how like if you can't make it nowadays because you don't want to put in the work and effort because yeah, we I mean, all started somewhere, right? We didn't start knowing all this. Yeah, it's the story it's that you tell your mind. It's yeah. the story that you tell your mind. And literally, man, I mean, we all, comparison to Thief of Joy, I look at some people, um, I don't know how much I should say about this. There was, uh, yeah, I'll say it. There, there was, uh, um, you know, it's funny because at, there, there was somebody that, uh, 
that everybody said she was playing me and i i i might have knew that but um i kind of i let myself uh, go because i watched all these successful entrepreneurs say they couldn't do it without a woman and they're like oh i couldn't do it without the girl i and i just kept seeing it so i was like right. okay i gotta open myself up to this now i'm at this point here let me, let me do that um and i did and um but you know i think by, by and you learn a lot about yourself i think not being afraid to love is a good thing i think the world i know 100 percent the world needs more love we're not as divided as everybody makes it seem we're really not um the the, the media plays out a whole thing what value team is doing and like to get cnn off the network or their ratings are losing or buying out elon musk might buy them out uh, I want to work hard enough to buy them out. The media, like if you think of every celebrity that we just mentioned, it's because they were on TV or screens, okay? So what you're doing podcasts podcast is great and they put the message out more. Anybody, even back in the day, right? That's the only difference, okay? So if we can control, and I was just talking to the guy Awardo here of what's going on wrong in, in the countries and he's like, yeah, man, even the Latin America, Cuba, Venezuela, it's a socialistic thing, it's coming in and we see it and you can't really like stop it. And I was like, yeah, but it, what's the thing of saying you can't stop it, right? Like, like, think of what the news is feeding. I don't even watch the news, really. Right? I'll read the Wall Street Journal because of Patrick and David, right? I'll read certain things, and I'll watch Valuetainment. Um, and I'll watch, I'll even turn on CNN. I will turn on certain things like that and watch it because I want to see what's going on. Don Lemon gets fired, right? right, right like, right. you know, you want to you know these things because these are, these are pivotal points of what most of America, most of the world is watching and knows this. So you want to be in charge of that. So why not you take this and you start a media company, you know? Like, how are you different, any different than how CNN started? Right. Because it's going to take more work, but you are putting out a good message, bringing people on, taking everybody full circle. Heck, Patrick and David put the full circle podcast there on you value payment. You know there what you I mean? Go. That's yeah. how it happens. He needs yeah. content. Yeah, and then yeah, he goes yeah. on a channel, you know? But like by, by making claims, not being afraid to ask and not being afraid to do something. Because if we don't, man, listen, th things might change. But if we don't go out there and put out our voice to make a change, that's that's how everything gets exactly. changed, right? That's how that's how everybody's getting indoctrinated with socialism, right? So it's because the, it was it was regurgitated by people and then so you know you got you got to be the force to put out there and change it absolutely yeah that, that's my next thing i want to get into how does personal branding right let's get into that how does that affect someone's business yeah. or the way they operate or the way they do things because i was thinking just I had a thought early today i've met so many people on the internet my whole business is based off the internet right looking at properties buying selling right looking at analytics emails just recruiting people for photos appraisers like that i find all these people through the internet right so that personal branding goes on the internet on all these social medias how how does that affect it like from your point of view that you work with these different people you've consulted the different entrepreneurs right Talk to me about that. Yeah, I mean, personal brand is everything yeah. uh, all the time. I get worried about people who don't want a personal brand. I mean, just take Kim Kardashian, worth $2 billion. She made uh, a thing as, uh, someone just told me uh, Kendall Jenner and uh, Bad Bunny hooked up, right? These these are people and brands, right? Who that, that that have built brands for a point is, is why we even care about stuff like this. But like, because of that, now they have influence because you know them. Whatever it is, whatever people want to think of it, because communication. So Myron Golden talks about four levels of value, okay? Myron Golden. Yeah, do you know the Myron Golden? Yeah, I saw my Grant Carter's in there. Oh, yeah, he's I amazing. Saw, I saw him in Miami. Miami. Yeah, Miami. Me too. I was at the same one. Yeah, yeah I didn't catch you, man. Uh, well, that, yeah, that, I was sitting like, in the cheap seats. That was like, seats. what, five years ago? Four, yeah. five years ago? Yeah, four Dude, years that ago. was the one. Did you see the live video with me and Grant? I didn't see that. Oh, one, search no. Jeff J. Cunningham and Grant Cardone. It's the most shared video ever. Is like views of that went went pretty mm -hmm. there. Yeah. yeah, and that video is why I went to Miami. Grant challenged me to buy the tickets. He says me and my brother might be on stage. It's a really powerful video. I'll play it after this too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the um, but I sat in the cheap seats or thing, the hero seats, and I snuck down. Some guy was talking about Grant being a scam up there, and I snuck down on the floor. And one of the guys in the diamond thing, actually Eric Klein was down there. I okay. met him that okay. time. He okay. didn't okay. remember, but he was down there at the time. Yeah, yeah. And I wound up saying, hey, is this a scam? He said, no, man, this guy's for real, man. We, this guy gets me going. I was like, all right. And I, because he did so much to impact my life. And then it, I actually bought, the first course I bought was a 997 real estate summit, how to flip properties and wholesale, right? And do this whole thing and make a lot of money. And the guy was just gimme who sold the 20K upsell. And I bought 97. I called out of work for three days. I'm at the thing. And I remember going back and searching. It was the first 997 thing I bought. 
And because I, I was 16, I don't know, I was so much into credit card. I raised my hand. It was right after I lost my brother. My brother's like, what are you doing? Nathan Osmond was the pitch man and sold it to me. He's like, what are you doing? I said, dude, I need to change, man. I don't know. But this guy, he's selling. I, I, maybe I'll learn something. Yeah. And I learned, and that's what got me in real estate investing. That in a Grant Cardone video. But I remember going online and looking up success resources and people, one star, this is a scam. I was sick to my stomach. It was so if anybody's there and you invest 997, you go look it up and says it's a scam. I looked it up. Listen. You can learn from anything, man. Are, it wasn't it wasn't a scam at all. The, the, what they taught was good knowledge, um, and it was better than any college uh, thing. Even though I didn't like the guy in line with him and do with him, I still used the knowledge to get a real estate investment later. You know, but right, right, right. Um, but yeah. So you were at the ten X in Miami. Yeah, yeah. So Myron Goldman. Um, oh yeah. He uh, for me he was the best speaker. Dude, that, me too. For me, that event, dude, he impacted yeah. me. Did you see him like walk with yeah, his leg? Yeah, yeah. He was like limping. And dude, where did he? I was he like, sit? who is this guy? I'm right. like, he's the best guy. Like. I think my brother, my He's cousin. Gonna, we're going to do something in Tampa together. You're going to have to come. Yeah, my, yeah, it's man. already ordained in God. My and Golden Me connected on Clubhouse. Dude, he is like, his delivery, like yes. on the message, bro, it just draws you in. Like that guy's got something. That guy Dude, is, he has a God-given gift. He does. Uh, 100%. He's totally fully in it. Me and Arturo went to in his Bible studies in Tampa. Okay. It spoke right to me. He's the one who taught me I yield God to call to serve. Okay. Uh, go look up. I'll give this. I'm not even going to share because I won't share it as well as he did because it's his to share. The four levels of value. Okay. okay. The one of them, the third one is communication. Building your brand is communication. Think about it. I'll kind of take this a little bit from Myron and give him credit. He says Beyonce, Denzel Washington, all these guys communicate, sing at a, such a high level. Kendall, uh, Kendall Jenner, or Kylie Jenner, right? They're communicating, okay? By doing that, you get paid the most. A low-level sales agent makes 100K a year, right? So communication is the most powerful. How you communicate your message becomes your brand. I get worried of people not wanting to build your brand. The biggest thing you can do right now with deep fakes coming in AI is to build your brand and be unique because everybody's going to look the same. They can duplicate you and me and I can duplicate myself. With, we just bought JeffGPT.com. We'll make a whole thing where you can ask me a question we're gonna do that that'll be cool but like building out your brand and being as real as you can we made it aside like no offense to any of these people putting all those you know those cool videos that they put the things on everybody looks to send marketing trends you got to cover them right and that's a hundred percent how you do it i think now i challenge everybody now right now to be different to be as different as you can of what you see it is go different because what's going on right now is you're going to see a lot of people clone you're going to see content come up neil patel you know neil patel so he was just talking about it the other day. Um, and, and everybody, there's going to be an upflow of content because it's going to be so much easier and faster to produce it out. So you, it's going to be, you really got to be different to stand out. you yeah. know. And doing that is your story, man. Your hardest story in your life uh, is, is it. And if you haven't gone through it, attach to somebody else's story and their mission and be a part of that. 100%. What drives you to keep going, man? Because... Like I said, yeah, Kokomo uh, Jays, man. I, I every time I walk by a Starbucks, I'm here in the what? Is, how do you say that? El Tesoro. El Tesoro, yeah. El Tesoro yeah. Mall. I love that mall. You probably find me there if you come to Medellin, yeah, Colombia. Yeah. We'll probably do a, 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 a Colombia Mastermind here. We're gonna do one here. I did a great live with Ty Lopez. Oh, let me tell this story. So I'll tell you exactly how. If if anybody wants to connect to someone, this is the whole script, okay? And it, it takes sometimes you got to break through the noise, okay? Because right. it doesn't always happen that. Like you go ask Ty Lopez, oh, I'm a Jeff Downer. He's like, oh, I know who that is. Okay, so a lot of what it is, really quickly, uh, there was a day I was um, selling um, door to door. I, was, I kept saying that information, man, I was making no money. I didn't make any sales, I was so discouraged. I wasn't a cute little brown girl getting leads. Uh, and I was so discouraged and Ty Lopez was live. And I went live on all my streams to go away. He was live on all of them. And I, he was giving out a hundred bucks and I kept writing down, money's attracting me, money's attracting me. I was like, I'll get it. And Ty Lopez gave me a hundred bucks and it meant everything to me. Like it worked and my day, I'd still made my day. He doesn't even know that. And it made my day because I was in such like a thing. And he's, he's, he already has passed the Lambo. He's buying dress barn or he was a little bit before then, right? And fast forward, I go live with him another time. Uh, and I didn't tell my story. I just, because he was there, I actually tried to connect him with John Jasniak, who was an investor. And I tried to like talk up to him because I was like, oh, he needs to talk to. Um, I said, yeah, you gave me a hundred dollars. Oh yeah, I don't remember what I think. No big deal. We go to um, Miami, Dan Fleischman, shout out to Dan Fleischman. There's a great book. If you want to read any book about building a personal brand, Dan Fleischman wrote a book, How to Build a Personal Brand in $100. Great book, has everything in it. I follow it with events. We're doing a Miami meetup, a lot because of uh, Dan Fleischman. Dan Fleischman has an event. Uh, it's on my Instagram. You can look down, Jeff the Entrepreneur. Uh, Tyler Lopez is there. Now, first thing you want to do now, I already did two things. He still doesn't know who I am. You want to stand out. I raise my hand, okay? He goes, 
Who here has a crazy conspiracy theory? I right shoot my hand up really quick. It's, man, that guy had a hand that blew out. Get attention, right? Get attention. I then tell a story, okay? So now I tell a story. I know Ty Lopez, what is he like? What do, what do you know what Ty Lopez likes? Ty Lopez likes, um, he's into like bodybuilding and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah he likes farm lands. Yeah. Uh, he likes vestments. I don't think he likes cars that even as much as that was. He likes girls, okay? And I basically tell the story and how to meet girls in Miami and I brought girls back and I bring up a well, crazy conspiracy theory. And I tell him, I'm in Miami, right? Advertising where I'm at, these girls in Miami. He then tells the whole story about crypto, buying crypto for 11 and all this whole thing, right? So the whole story gets in there and he's like, bring dogs around in Miami. So then I go to Midtown Miami. You've been to Miami? Yeah, of course. Do you ever see any dogs in Miami? Dogs? Yeah. Yeah, of course. And there's some women of dogs in Miami yeah, too, I'll uh, tell you that too. But um, there's, definitely, uh, there's definitely dogs. And he was saying, get some dogs and, and women will come and talk to him. And I saw this buff guy with a couple dogs and these hot women talking to him, right? And uh, so I, 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 it's a UFC fight. I'm going to watch with my brother. I go live with Ty Lopez. It was a few nights after that. Because he remembered the story, he goes live with me. Now he's like, oh, Jeff the Entrepreneur, right? So it's story, story. Then I go and I tell him about my brother who died. He tells me his brother, which I never even knew this was on heroin. And he was all that. And me and him start connecting. And I tell him, hey, man, yeah, I'm going to build this coffee shop and honor my brother. I said, even if it fails, maybe you could buy it out. And he goes, nah, man, we won't let it fail. You know, and I said, yeah, it's like I'm bringing celebrities. I'm going to do like a Joe Rogan style podcast. I said, I've done a make more money podcast before. I want to really I want to have celebrities on you. He's yeah, just let me know, man. I'll come down. And Caesar, our CMO, watched the whole thing. I didn't get the post, but it was one of the coolest moments with him. He's laying in bed. I'm out there trying to get service. I'm in uh, at a scary bar. It was like a weird bar. And uh, was it in my I was in Miami because I, I was trying to get a place that showed the UFC fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so but the my whole point was you just got to get attention a few times. And really, time. the one that really connected was my personal story. But and I'm human just like anybody. I didn't want to tell them the personal story. Sometimes you see people you don't want to tell them. Even Grant, man, who cares? I told him my personal story. That's how we connected, you know? Yeah. Um, so, you know, a lot of times it's your story, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. To wrap up here, man, it's been amazing, amazing mm -hmm. conversation yeah, for the job. people watching, right? For anybody that's looking to get started, because again, you have your story, man, what drives you, your brother, right? Your father, everything you grew up, right? And your ambition, but somebody getting started in business, like what would you recommend to them, right? Yeah. How to push out ahead, man, to be of influence, right? To build their personal brand, like what's some business advice you could leave the people here moving forward, 2023, 2024, and the future? So, you know, just to give it all there, and I feel for all our viewers and anybody saying this before, um, you know, if you go to brandisforever.com, I bought that because I believe it's forever. I believe when you're out there, um, like really know that, like act like your life's a movie right now and you wake up and how a thing, whether you're, you know, the IRS coming after you, you're in debt, whatever it is, how would that movie start, right? And then act accordingly, right? Um, and I do think that building your brand uh, is huge. Like a lot of times too, and also like, Get something, um, get something of value. Go put something out in there. We have, we all have stories in our life. Create an ebook. Create something out there that you can actually provide value to life. We're met on this life to provide value. If you don't think it is, you definitely have something inside you. Uh, everybody does. Uh, we haven't gotten through this life without learning something. I've, I'm, uh, I'll learn from anybody right now. I'm learning Spanish from people at El Tesoro. You know? Right, right. So if you text brand to 727-955-2777, uh, 727-955-2777, as a marketer, you always got to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a regretted number. Uh, but if you text brand to that, that'll give some resources on exactly how to uh, really make your reality board, uh, which is what I talked about in the beginning, or create an ebook, uh, which uh, we actually are rebranding a new ebook. I had your first 10K a month. We're doing a new ebook. Uh, we're relaunching it called your first 100K a month. Uh, actually, anybody who watches this, I'll give that away for free. Just the one thing I ask is they share it with a lot of people because um, I really want that to get out with the message, right, right. Um, especially now so we can get, we can get the right message out of capitalism um, and, and, and really just really making money so we go take care of a lot of people. You know? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, we're gonna drop that all in the description. Where can people connect with you? Where can people find you? What's the best places? Yeah, the best place is Instagram, uh, Jeff the Entrepreneur, that's what people know. We are rebranding to jeffjcunningham.co, I guess. Uh, um, I do like Twitter, uh, Jeff J JJC Entrepreneur, um, but probably Instagram's the best way um, to really hit me up. Um, you will find me on Twitter Spaces, maybe on Clubhouse uh, some days. Grant told me to get off Clubhouse, make more money. Uh, he was he was right about that. Although we closed a pretty good a couple of deals on Clubhouse, uh, not as many as probably could have, um, but definitely built a brand there. Um, and anybody, um, yeah, anybody who really. Um, 
just wants to connect. I will say, even if I don't respond to the DM, yeah. uh, we just brought on a new uh, person who's going to help me. Uh, Shalom, it means peace in Israel. Yeah. Uh, she's going to be a CLC licensee. Um, so we'll get to him. There's a great guy who's been a big impact in my life, Adam Weitzman. He's in my story. I think he's a billionaire. I don't even know. It doesn't even matter. He leads with the good stuff. And he responds to people's messages and really just inspires hope. He was on a great podcast with Dan Fleischman called The Money Mondays. Have you seen any of that? I haven't seen that, no. Yeah, so, but that's that's basically it. So uh, if you answer, you, uh, you DM me on Instagram, we'll definitely answer you. And I'm not going to have any anybody else answer it but me. I remember when someone else answered it, so I'm, I'm big on that, you know? That's perfect. Yeah. Jeff, thank you so yeah, much, man. Thank you. This has been a awesome. fire episode, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Real sales. Sales. Marketing. Full Circle Conversations. Full Circle Conversations. With Andres Olaya.